I was watching yesterday's session because we had this big rally into the close, and it wasn't really mm -hmm. tech per se, but it was some of these other also rants. And a big question investors are looking for is, okay, you know, I'm in Facebook, I'm in Microsoft, but you know, a, a, almost 400 stocks are down for the year. There's got to be more opportunity out there. Exactly. And I, I actually completely agree with that. I mean, you look at your um, tech firms, and they've been doing so well, and we're not really getting rid of those because I think surprisingly enough, those can actually stay irrationally more expensive than we're willing to stay patient for. But if you have new money to add, there's definitely opportunities out there. I think specifically, you can look at a lot of industries like financials or even industrials are a really good opportunity right now. If you look at China, it's a really good example where we're really starting to see manufacturing pick up there. And Europe and U.S. are going to be right behind that. And so if you want to look at further opportunities, they've got a long runway ahead here. And they're a lot cheaper than some of their expensive counterparts like the tech firms. What do you make of, of this week's action? I, I think it's pretty clear that the market may have wanted to break out. Uh, we could not get over that July, you know, that June 11th hump. If you will, we made a huge rebound, but when it comes to breaking out, we didn't do it this week. That could be a yellow flag. Yeah, and I think what really what you're seeing is the markets aren't going to go straight up forever. I wish they would, but it's pretty normal to see them kind of level off here a little bit as we're seeing such a strong rally. But every pullback you're seeing, we're really not seeing them drop like a lot of those people out there who are screaming that we're going to see another big drop. It's not dropping like that because you are seeing people coming and buying back in. So, yes, we're having a little bit of a leveling off, but there is so much cash on the sidelines right now, and it can really lead to a lot of buying pressure going in on all the dips like we're having right now. So, yes, I want to see them going up, but seeing them kind of hold steady and seeing those dips getting bought, I think we'll continue to see as we go forward. What's the signal on the upside? Okay, we're talking about buying the dips, uh, and you already mentioned some, some opportunities and financials and other areas. What's the signal on the upside? Because to your point, trillions of dollars on the sidelines, a lot of that's going to find its way into the stock market, and we've seen hints of it, right? Every single day, the dip is bought. Now, not mm -hmm. every day do we buy enough to turn it around, but every single day, even today, someone went in there early in the session and bought a lot of this dip. When do we see a mad rush, though, that sense of urgency where a lot of money pours into this market? I don't know if it's going to be a mad rush. I think we're going to slowly see it at every pullback. I mean, there's going to be further information coming out. Like right now, there's a spike in cases. Maybe there's a, a second wave of the virus or, you know, whatever it is that comes along. There's going to be these little dips. And I think we're going to continue to see this cash go in as we go forward. And you're going to see investors realizing that the longer they're sitting in cash, they're getting virtually nothing. I mean, treasuries are paying less than 1%, which is just more of a reason they're going to have to eventually get in. And that fear of missing out is only going to get worse and worse as they see the stock markets continue to go up and up. So you're going to continue to see people eventually just giving up and ready to get back into the markets. And I think we're already seeing that.